hello everyone welcome back to my channel i wanted to share with you my newest purchase so much for that spending freeze i was on right that didn't work out very good but i had to have this have you guys seen the new simple stories simple vintage cottage fields oh my god it is so gorgeous i absolutely had to have it so i'm going to share with you the collection a couple things i got and then I made two projects with this already that I'm going to share with you too. So the first thing I got was um, just some more enamel dots from the Pink Fresh Days of Splendor collection. This is my favorite collection ever. I just am in love with this collection. I picked up two more of my favorite. If you've watched me before, my favorite little gems are honeybee stamps. Gems, they come in all different colors, but I picked up two clear so there's that and then this collection is so pretty we'll go through all the stickers and ephemera first and then the paper so it comes with a washi tape listen isn't it pretty i love it i like this collection it's got some pages with some black in it which is always really pretty and the usual simple story sticker book look at all these beautiful florals it's got 12 sheets with 648 stickers look at all that so pretty i like sayings and tabs they have a little bit of an alphabet the circles the butterflies and flowers and a whole page of flowers isn't that pretty love it these are um thin stickers if you're not familiar with simple stories you can use them as they are or you can put them on some cardstock and fussy cut them out to make them stronger and then it gives you a chance to audition your pieces before you put them on your page but just look at those colors so rich and vibrant I am so impressed with simple stories I mean I always have been but like the last year or two oh my god the stuff they're coming out with I'm just in love with it and I need to have it all and then this is something new from them that to, new to me maybe they did before and I don't know about it it's called simple pages and what they do is they give you a pack of ephemera and then on the back of it they go ahead and give you two layout examples and to use all the stuff in this package isn't those those are cute little layouts aren't they so i thought that was cute i picked it up just for the extra ephemera because i had to have it and then of course their classic frames some people don't use these but they're the chipboard frames i love these frames so much i am obsessed with them they make your pages so beautiful and they're filled with lots of flowers and butterflies look at those pretty right so pretty i love them and then their um, foam stickers which is kind of like their version of thickers they're um very puffy they're um like um a hard puffy sticker which i really like the only thing with these and any of these kind of stickers that has the foam in them I ha i'm always really really careful when i take them off not to bend them because if you do bend them it'll leave that crease in the paper on the top and that drives me crazy so i'm always really careful when i use these but i've already used one of these words in one of the projects i'll show you but look at this is perfect sayings isn't it comes with some butterflies words bunch of hearts and then the other side you do get some more words some more butterflies and pretty flowers and some more hearts isn't that great these are awesome <clears throat> And then they came with floral bits and pieces. Look at those flowers. You can do all kinds of different colors of this collection. You can do like a cream vanilla color, green, pink, yellow. So pretty. Look at all that you get in that package. That's really good. I really like Simple Stories just jam packs. They're ephemera. So, let me see. 39 pieces. I think that's awesome. All right, and then the next is the bits and pieces with 50 pieces, and this has a lot of different things in it, like butterflies and some more florals, but it has words in different frames and all kinds of different stuff like that, and some tags, too. It's got some tags in it, which I really like. I think that's awesome. So there's that one. And then the next is the layered stickers. 
these are so beautiful they have tons of dimension there's i think two layers on each one of these when there's little teeny foam squares underneath each of the layers which is really really cool but look at all the different things a birdhouse butterflies tickets bird's nest more butterflies all kinds of butterflies and florals in this collection which i love let me take one out hold on try not to make too much noise so you can see the dimension in these i love it and you could get these and even if you didn't like the dimension you could always take one of the layers off Oh, no, I was wrong. There's three layers on this one. Look at. Can you see that? Isn't that awesome? So these are really dimensional, which I love. Put that back so I don't lose it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or I get a random piece of cat fur on the sticky part. There. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, and then, of course, Simple Stories, Decorative Brads, and I love brads. I know some people don't care for them. These are the self-adhesive brads that actually don't have the part in the back that you poke through the paper. There's just adhesive on the back of them. But look how pretty they are. It has a little it's got some chipboard, too. And this, these down here are all chipboard. And then all these are brads, and I used a couple already. Um, big ones, tiny ones, medium, beautiful, right? Oh, I love those so much. So pretty. All right. And this is new to me and Simple Stories is doing these snap flip books now. They are so cool. Look at this beautiful cover and then the back of it. And then it's got, um, I think like a debossed Simple Stories in the back of it. But they're so pretty and then it has this um banner that comes on it that you can take off but i was thinking about keeping it because it's on there tight because if you don't take this apart and well you can undo it to use it but you could keep this and decorate it like put some paper over it and it would be the exact measurements and then you could decorate the front of your book by using this so look at the pretty cover. This is how thick they are. And what it is, in the inside, it's just got this kind of a closure. Beautiful covers on the inside. But it's got the little 6x8 um, flip pages. And I think it comes with, um, hold on, let me look, 10 pocket pages. And, the, and they're all different sizes. Like this one holds two, um, a 6x8. So I think you get two of each, and then this is, no, three of each. There's three six by eights, and then this one holds two four by six. And then, yep, you get three of each. And then this one has got two three by fours and one four by six on the bottom. And you can take it apart right here, and you can add a couple extra pages. Now, I don't think that this has a lot of room for dimension. It has a little bit. You could definitely put a little bit in there, but you wouldn't want to put too much because I like my albums to close flat. I don't like it when they have like the alligator opening like this. Like you have so much stuff in it. It sits open like that. I don't like that. But I thought this would be perfect for a cute little book that you could make for yourself. Like put your favorite things in here. Like you could put your kids, your husband or your partner and um, your pets or something like that in here or your parents. Just things that mean a lot to you. And how cute would this be to keep on your bedside table or in your headboard so when you're laying in bed watching TV, you could just skim through it once a week or something. It would be really pretty for something like that, and it would make an awesome gift for somebody. Could you imagine giving this as a gift for a bridal shower or a birthday? That would be awesome. Okay, and then I got the chipboard too. I pretty much got every single thing in this collection. There was one kit that you could make cards and I didn't, it's in my wish list on scrapbook.com. I haven't gotten it yet. It was just, um, put me over budget for that particular order. So I just saved that for later. So this chipboard's got a lot of, um, flowers and butterflies and a little nest with bird eggs in it. How cute is that? Hearts, some words, a stamp. I love using stamps. And then this, look at that. It says beautiful. Isn't that beautiful script writing? I like it. And then this banner. I love it. 
comes with so much good stuff. And then they have a 6 by 8 paper pad, which I've already dug into, so there's a few pages missing. But look at all the pretty papers in this collection. Right? And these are double-sided. I'm going to flip through this really, really quick, just like this, because I'll show you in the 12 by 12s. I believe they're all the same. But look how pretty, right? It's got so many different colors in this collection. They just blend together so beautifully. All right, and then there is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet, which I love. I like the words on the bottom. Pretty. And this is um cardboard, like um cardboard, cardstock stickers, not cardboard, cardstock stickers. So I like that because they're nice and thick and they won't rip. Pretty, right? Oh, low glare. Isn't that awesome? And some tickets. And all those really pretty words. I love it. And then I always get the banner sheet from Simple Stories. I think that they might be the only ones who do these. I'm not sure, but I've never seen anybody else. I've already used a couple of them, so they're missing. But aren't their banners gorgeous? You could get a couple photos or one big 4x6 photo and use a banner and your page would be practically done. Aren't they beautiful? I think this is my favorite, these banners. Whenever they have a banner sheet, I always get it. Awesome, right? And then, I did go ahead and pick up the, um, <clears throat> let me turn this around, the 12x12 12 12 basics kit, which is like the... Kind of like the plain paper to go with the pattern papers. You get six papers, two of each. Darker pink, yellow, like a teal, aqua, a peach, a black, and a pink. Really nice. So you just get two of each color. That's just what they're like. I won't open that up because it's just right there. But I like doing that to back your photos. Or sometimes you can even use this as a background and then use the pattern paper on top of that. All right, so I got the Eclectors Essential Kit, and I also got some extra double-sided papers that I just knew I was going to love, so I just got, like, two sheets of each on top. So I got, with this, includes 162 pieces, and it comes with the Eclectors Essential Kit includes 12 cardstock 12 by 12 card stock stickers with 79 stickers, a washi tape, which I showed you at the beginning. I'll show you again. Um, a 12 by the six by 12 chipboard stickers, 31 stickers. I showed you and the floral bits and pieces, die cuts, ephemera. And then it comes with all those papers and they are double sided and I will show them to you. Um, okay, so first up, and these are all my scraps. I just wanted to show you all the scraps I used from the two projects I did with this kit already. I just had to make something immediately when this came in the mail. I always keep my plastic bags for my monthly hip kit subscription, and I put my scraps in it so my scraps don't get lost or ruined, and then I keep this with the kit just in case that's something that you would want to do. All right, so first up is this beautiful paper with all these gorgeous, gorgeous colored butterflies. <clears throat> these butterflies are um, on top of each other. They're all intertwined with each other, so it would be difficult to fussy cut the majority of these, but I think you could probably do it on some of them. But there's so many butterflies in the kit itself, I, I don't think you'd have to fussy cut. And this is a cute 4 by 4 cut apart sheet if you wanted this side. I always end up getting two of everything because it's, you know, if I want to use the butterflies, I won't, don't want to lose all my cut aparts either. So pretty, right? Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so much glare. It says all my heart. Pretty, right? I always keep my branding strips and use those too. And this pretty peach paper with some very light flowers on the back. And then the other side is the 4 by 3 cut apart sheets, which I am in love with. Look at that. I love this one right here. Isn't that pretty? It's 
has all those different things. It's perfect for pocket pages, or you could use one on a scrapbook layout, too. And you could fussy cut the things on here. Look at that. Isn't that an awesome journaling card? I think so. Okay, and then next we have beautiful pink paper with a little bouquet of flowers and some butterflies sticking out of it. You could definitely fussy cut those. It looks simple enough, and they're not too tiny, so you could do it if you wanted to. And then this is the two by twos, which you could make something with or fussy cut all the images out of them. That'd be cute. And some pretty, it's like a, I can't even describe this cut. It's, it's, it's yellowish in the yellowish family. And it's got beautiful white um, fern leaves on it. Isn't that pretty? And then the side has got some butterflies too. And then this one is probably one of my favorite favorites in the whole collection it's a really really pretty pink with some black dots but if you look close i'm not even sure if it's going to come up on the camera it's not it's got a whole bunch of rings in it it looks like watermark rings all different size rings throughout the entire thing and it's just not coming up it's not showing on the camera but that's got that on it and then look at that that's a lot of flowers that's really bold I don't know how, you'd have to be an expert fussy cutter to do something with that, but this looks really, really pretty. This would be an awesome border strip, or you could back your photos with this and have all the different colors popping up from underneath, from behind your photo. Oh my God, how pretty would that be? And then next, how beautiful is this paper? It's got like some butterflies and music notes and an oval frame with some wordings. And it's um, a soft green it's gorgeous and then ugh, look at this oh my gosh right it's so pretty I don't think I'd be able to cut this I might have to save it I'll hoard this sheet <laughs> and then oh my gosh black and white polka dots and again it's not showing up on the camera but each one of these circles has something behind it it looks like the vintage writing if you know what I'm saying with these kind of, it's all inside these little teeny circles. And then on this side is a beautiful wood grain with all those flowers. Isn't that pretty? I, I just, oh, I have such a hard time cutting Simple Stories paper. Ooh, and my favorite checked. It's pink and white. Well, it's kind of like a peach and white, really. It's coming up pink on the screen, but it's peachy. Very pretty. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that black and it's got some flowers behind and some writing how pretty is that flowers on both sides i really like how this collection has touches of black throughout the whole thing and i got <clears throat> two sheets of this so i think that was the collection kit and then <clears throat> excuse me and then i bought extra um double-sided papers just because i love them so much i didn't want if I wouldn't feel so bad using this if I knew I had extra in my drawer. And I know that sounds crazy, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And then on that other side is this flower. Oh my gosh, look at it. So pretty. Now, it looks like on the camera it's coming up white. But the background of this is actually, let me see, a really pretty blue. No, I don't know why it's coming up so bright. But it's the background here. It's all blue. It's not white. And we saw this one already. I got two of those. Ooh, and I did get two of these, but I used one already. It's so gorgeous. It's got peach and cream and yellow and green and all that writing. It looks like stamped on there with some watermarks. Looks like some mixed media done for you already. Oh, my gosh. And then here are your 4 by 6 cut-apart sheets, which I love. I think that one's my favorite. Isn't it pretty? You could like fussy cut with your um, craft knife that out and then put a photo in here as a frame. That would be pretty. Oh, I must have three pieces of this. Good. So we already saw that. And yep, we already saw this one. I got two more of those. Did we see this one already? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, this is the four by threes with the peach. I got two more of those. And this was my favorite. I got two more of those. And that side was that. Oh, and this one. Look at. 
oh my gosh, this green butterfly with the peach and all this. It looks like newspaper, like a newspaper ink was set down on this piece of paper. And peach and some background flowers. And look at that pretty flower. I'm not sure what that is. It might be a hydrangea, but it doesn't. No, nah, I don't think that's a hydrangea, but whatever it is, it's beautiful. And then this side is all blue with pretty, pretty butterflies. You could definitely fussy cut these butterflies, but I don't think I'd want to ruin this paper. And then we just saw that. And look at this one. This looks like a seed package, doesn't it? It's so pretty. I love it so much. I think I got three pieces of this paper. I used one already, and I have two here. And then this side is this gorgeous, gorgeous peach. And you can see a little shadow of a butterfly here. And then all these butterflies on the side with this text. And hold on, I want to show you something. I got a couple things in a recent haul. I got this stamp from Hobby Lobby. And you can tell I've used it a lot already. From Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. And then I got... This one I just picked up at Michael's. I think I used my coupon, but even if I didn't, I wasn't leaving it there because how cool is that? So doing like a second generation stamp on this or using like um, gray ink instead of black and then stamping this all over these beautiful papers. Oh, so perfect. I love that. And then I'm going to show you my projects I made. It's so cute. I made this little notebook um, cover. Now, I didn't do an awesome job on this. It was my first time trying something like this, but I got totally inspired by the Posh Paper Lady. Oh, my God. If you're not subscribed to her channel, I'm going to link her below. You definitely should. She posts a video, like, every single day, and she makes the coolest things, and they're so gorgeous. I love watching her videos. I'll link her below, but she's always doing something cute like this. So I picked up this little notebook at the dollar store. So it was only one buck. And I used a piece of paper. And I made this little, I used um, the chipboard. The chipboard that scrapbook.com mails you your, um, you know how they put chipboard in your with your papers. And then they put it, the cellophane around it. So I always save that. And then I make things like this. So this is a. Nice chipboard cover with the paper over it. And then there's the back. And then I went ahead and I used my scrapbook.com dauber. And I did take black Altenew ink. And I just went like this to give it like a distressed edge because of the black touches in this collection. I thought that looked really cool. So I went ahead and did that. And so I put a sticker here and see how I distressed just the very edges of the stickers and then a little adhesive brad butterfly and this really cute bird and flower piece of ephemera on this nice paper so cute and then I had these little um, binder clips in my stash so I thought it would be cute to put that on there as well and if you open it up I covered just this um, paper pad like I said it cost me one dollar at Dollar Tree. I covered this up, put a couple pieces of ephemera on it. I put some washi tape down the middle of the binder just to um, make it look pretty. And my binder didn't, in the middle didn't come out great. It had a couple bumps in it. So I figured if I put the washi tape on it, you couldn't really see it. And then over here, I made a little pocket. And then I took two of the 4 by 3 cut aparts in the six by eight paper pad and I put it on some really heavy white card stock so it would be nice and thick and I punched some holes and used my wear memory keepers tag punch and um, distressed the edges with black ink so this could be just little things to stick in here and um, write notes on or whatever you want but look how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous I love it so I'm just going to keep this for myself because it didn't come out really good, but it came out okay for my first time trying to do something like this. So don't you think? It's cute. So I'm just going to leave this on my desk 
or on my craft desk in that way if like I want to write myself a note about a video I want to post or an idea that I had or if I wanted to scrap lift somebody or I was inspired by somebody I can make myself little notes and leave this right here on my craft table isn't it cute and then I went ahead and made this layout I love it how it came out so much I used the paper on the background I did a little bit of mixed media again I used my um, scrapbook.com dauber and I just distressed the very very tips of the ephemera if you can see that I just thought it made it match really well with the black papers okay and then it, I'll show you really close I did use this music stamp on here but by the time I got done putting all this stuff on it I think I covered up the majority of it even though I didn't want to but that happens but oops sorry and then this you can see I took this piece of paper this is some plain peach paper and I distressed the edges with the black and I went ahead and stamped that stamp on here with some black ink and it just looks like patterned paper doesn't it I think that is so cool I love these I've been looking <clears throat> for those two stamps forever so when I finally found them, I didn't care if I had a coupon or not. So here's this. I used a lot of floral ephemeras. This is my great niece and my nephew. It's um, his baby, obviously. Um, this is my sister's child. And my sister's would have been her first granddaughter. My sister has passed away. So there's that. This was in the sticker book. I just went ahead and stuck it on some white cardstock. And then I used my circle punch punched it out so it would be nice and um thick instead of i didn't want it to rip and then like i said i distressed these edges here and then i used let me see if you can see my honeybee stamp the little teeny gems see them aren't they cute those are the best adhesive gems i've ever used before i was gonna get them back out but i think they're on the bottom of my pile here because you get a ton. You get 300. They're not cheap. I think this is probably three, four, maybe 450. But you get 300 of them. And these are the best. The adhesive on the back of these are perfection. You don't even have to use any glue. It, that's how good these are. That's why I really love them. And I like the little tiny size. So then here's the words from the sticker book you got to be really careful with those because they're so thin you have to be so careful when you put stuff down and to make sure you don't rip them and then i traced it with a black marker to make it pop more off the page and of course you know when you trace things you accidentally slip and you go over the letter so i went ahead and put some very well placed splatters on top of where I made mistakes and then I went ahead and splattered randomly so it would look like it was supposed to be there but I was just covering up mistakes <laughs> um <clears throat> again I stamped that stamp that I did down here on top here and I think I did put the music notes underneath here but by the time I was done I co covered it already and I took a, um, a strip of this here and I just ripped it and Put it together with a couple little mini staples and just peeled it up so you could see the back of it. And I used some puffy stickers and some more florals and a ticket and an adhesive brad. Isn't that pretty? I love it so much. Well, I hope you like my layout. I went ahead and put some foam squares underneath the butterflies so you can see the dimension. Isn't that so pretty? And then here are the foam titles i love that so much i did have a different title in there but i ruined it on accident and then i tried to paint over it to make it look better and then it just looked horrible so i ended up having to peel it up i lost it threw it in the garbage had to reprint my pictures oh well things happen right i can i was able to reprint my pictures and i can always buy another package of the stickers right so there's that it's so cute and there's one of those sticker strips and i put this up on some foam squares for some dimension and here's the washi tape but i just think this was totally awesome this right here is actually a sticker from the sticker pad and they're so thin if you put them on there it actually looks like oh there's so much light it actually looks like they're part of the paper that's one thing I really, really like about that sticker pad. 
So there's that, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my project shares, and I hope you like this collection. I did purchase mine from scrapbook.com, but feel free to get yours from your favorite shop. All right, take care. Thanks for stopping by.